Uh, starting with our top story, the Yemeni military is saying that it has targeted an Aramco oil distribution station in Saudi Arabia. Army spokesman Yahya Saria says that a targeted facility is located in the Red Sea city of Jeddah. It said that the attack was a legitimate response to what are described as Saudi crimes and aggression against Yemen. The spokesman also warned foreign companies working in Saudi Arabia to exercise caution as operations will continue. Saudi authorities have refrained from reacting to the news, reports saying that oil production in the facility has come to a halt. Now from Niagara Falls, uh, I'm joined by Jason Aru, who is a political commentator, for his comments on this uh, latest uh, incident against the Saudi oil distribution facility. Jason, over to you. I think that this uh, de demonstrates that despite all the, the pain and the suffering that the Yemenis have uh, undertaken as a result of this Saudi war, that they are unwilling to back down. Uh, this shows their ingenuity that they are developing the new cuts to missiles, uh, winged ones. I'm not a, a technician in this kind of area, but they are they are fairly new and they are a new type of missile that they're using, which shows their indigenous production of arms, uh, particularly missiles, which are, are very important to their war effort, are continuing to develop. And, and that's something that... Uh, was a major target for Saudi Arabia to undermine the ability of the Yemeni people to defend themselves from their assault. These continued attacks using now newer military technology shows that this attempt by the Saudis has been unsuccessful. Mm -hmm. And Jason, is this the right way to go on? Because the Saudis thought they were, in a couple of days, they would be able to do what they wanted to, to Yemen, capture and undo do on carry on whatever plans they had but it's more than five years now five years and a half maybe and they have failed to achieve their goals how much longer are they going to continue with this it's hard to say how much longer i mean there's several factors to account but uh, national budget is one of them how how long do they want to continue dumping resources into what is essentially a failed effort Nothing good for Saudi Arabia has materialized out of this. I mean, they've even suffered a significant amount of damage to their own oil production from retaliatory strikes from the Yemenis. They haven't made a single dollar off of this entire endeavor, which is generally what imperialist war is about. It's about getting hold of resources, access to markets, cheaper labor, etc. But none of this has materialized for them. This entire endeavor has been one monumental loss. The other factors in, uh, which are particular to this case are the political will to continue you know, this in this entire war. I mean, it's all been for nothing. And that's eventually going to take its toll politically on the, the royal family, the political establishment, etc. How much are they willing to throw away and how much of their, their ego or how much are they going to attempt to save face? Because this is very humiliating. This is something they thought was going to be a quick in and out job and they would have Yemen, but it's been going on for years now and they've made no significant inroads. They've not really made any major capturing. So it's uh, it's really a question of whether or not the Saudis are really going to just eventually admit defeat. And I don't think, given their previous efforts, that it's coming anytime mm -hmm. soon. And Jason, do you believe that this is the right course that the Yemenis uh, have adopted? I mean, going on with retaliatory attacks and also trying to upgrade and further improve their missile power? Because the international community, the international organizations have been practically doing nothing. Uh, essentially, they have no other choice. It's not even a really, in my mind, a question of whether it's good or bad. It's what's necessary and what's not. And since the entire world, or particularly those who claim to be the champions of human rights, such as the United States, the UK, Canada, Australia, you know, generally speaking, the imperialist world have completely turned a blind eye to this. Uh, some have given just mere notions of admonishment for what's been going on, but it's not stopped them from selling the military hardware necessary to carry out this abomination to human rights. So I, I don't, I, I don't see this as something that's uh, really going to end anytime soon. It's been a very terrible situation for everyone all around, and the suffering is going to continue. I think that the, the actual Yemenis, they have been targeting oil sites as opposed to civilian 
uh, sites, uh, like the Saudi is doing, shows the, the very different mentality of both the defenders and the attackers. Okay, appreciate your comments. Uh, Jason Ruha, political commentator, who joined me from Niagara Falls, Ontario, with his comments.